Hello everyone and welcome to A Slice of My Life, Mail Call Time, a package from Vietnam by a man named Nguyen Khan. I'm pretty sure I butchered your name and I'm sorry, Nguyen Khan. I'll just call it Nguyen anyway, of a company that is listed as A Tuan. But if you guys are interested, it is a Facebook group known as VNOC Spin. So, we've got some very exquisite looking spinners. I've only seen them in pictures. I hopped on a pre-order and in here are three. One of which doesn't belong to me. It belongs to my buddy, Dominic. I think you guys have seen him in one of my previous videos. But anyway, uh, I'm not so sure which part of Vietnam this comes from. Whether it's from Hanoi or Ho Chi Minh City or Saigon or some other place. I'm not so sure. So, I'm just going to say it's from Vietnam. So, Nguyen, it's here. It's arrived and I'm going to open it up right now because these are really exquisite. They are something else in that that's why I couldn't help it, but I just had to jump on the pre-order. So here we go. What do we have here? Van Tien plastic. Oh, hey, there we go. Wow, that's, that's nice. Got another two of these. Oh, I like these cases. I got quite a few of these cases, but these are always welcome. So in these boxes are spinners known as the Eagle Spinner by Vinox Spin or VNOC Spin. I'm just gonna call it VNOC Spin. And that S shape is representative of this spinner over here, which is known as the Smoke Spinner. So I got one of the mini smokes and this is a mini version. And I've got one of the big Eagles. And I don't know which one is which because there's only one COA. And this is number three. I don't know which is which, but I do know that 003 is not mine. 003 belongs to Dom. And mine is a 02525. Yep. So I'm just gonna open this up. There we go, big eagle number 25. And small smoke. Oh, that's nice. He actually put two of the COAs inside this hard case so it wouldn't get damaged easily. But look at that, guys. This is the Eagle Spinner with some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful laser etching design on it. Even the buttons. Wow, this is nice. Look at the machining, guys. This is all machining. The little thin lines inside there for each of the feathers. That's, that's nuts. And then it's polished. And there are some pretty sharp details up here, but this is obviously, obviously intentional because it's part of the design as you guys can see. The reason why I bought this was because it looks so good. Look at that. This has got to be one of the most beautiful spinners in the market. Honestly speaking, look at that. Okay, I'm gonna undo the buttons on this and let's look at the bearing and the retention method if there's any. Ah, uh, it looks like it's a press fit and it's not sitting dead in the center. It's a little bit deeper on this side and uh, higher up or less, that's deep shallower on this side, I suppose. But there is a etching over here. It says Big Eagle number 25. Oh, that's really cool. Can you guys see it? There, Big Eagle 25. That's really cool. Yeah, so there's actually a mini version of this. But after looking at pictures of it, I felt that the mini version was going to be a bit too small because I really wanted to enjoy these intricate designs over here. Wow, uh, pretty blown away. These lines over here, these are exquisite and I don't even know how to show it to you guys. They can actually see the background through here. See that? Those are actual cuts guys and such a small little window cut here as well. Look, through cut all the way. Very nice. So this is one of the kind of spinners that, you know, isn't physically angled. There are no angled edges. There are no raised portions over here as well. It's just completely flat. A very nice outline shape and then they brought everything up by a beautiful laser etching design which is amazing and these buttons are, are tall though they are tall i wonder how they'll fit in other spinners let's grab a stubby since the stubby is here and let's try the buttons on a stubby because it is a 188 button but i think that it would sit kind of tall i'm not so sure yeah see it's so much taller look in this application i suppose it works very very well for the eagle spinner but maybe not on other spinners because it's a bit too tall. And you guys know when a button is very tall, the wobble here is amplified because of the height. But if you look at it from top down, this, oh, this actually looks really, really good on a stubby. Look at that. Okay, well, spinning's not too bad. When you put your fingers up here like that, it feels kind of like a, a new spin hook X button because those are kind of tall. But then the space in between, I know a lot of people don't like that. So I'm gonna just undo that and then I'll do just a quick size comparison since my stubby is here. There we go guys, big eagle against the stubby. And you can see that the wings make it a lot taller than the stubby is, but that's all right. Very beautiful, intricate design and wow. Uh, 
I'm impressed, thoroughly impressed. Okay, gonna put these buttons back on and give this guy a spin, okay? And then we will just briefly talk about it before we open up this guy over here. Okay, so here we go. Should I hold it this way? Should I hold it this way? Oh, they actually both feel pretty comfortable. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's not bad. It's actually pretty smooth. Oh, the reflections are dope. Look at that, look at that. <laughs> Crazy reflections. But it's actually pretty smooth, guys. There really isn't much jada at all. And, oh yeah, speaking of the word jada, I've been using the word wrong all this time. I always thought it was jutter, but it is jutter, J-U-D-D-E-R. I always thought it was J-U-T-T-E-R. I think I got the word jitter mixed up with it. So jitter and jutter. So there's not much of a jutter, not much of a wobble or a shake. Which is quite surprising because this is an asymmetrical design. So I'm going to flip it over and let's try how it feels spinning this. Oh, it's not bad as well. Wow. Okay, reflections, reflections. Oh, look at that. It's really crazy. That reflection is nuts. Look at that. <laughs> what? That's trippy, guys. The reflections being picked up by the lens is nuts. <laughs> Alright, that's not too bad at all, guys. Look. Pretty solid spins. Alright, let's open up this one over here. And uh, it seems like it's just some tape. Is it tape or is it just a plastic? I hate it when it leaves residue like that. Ah! I hate that. That's disgusting. Oh, I'm gonna have to go clean it up after this. I don't wanna waste everyone's time. Let's just crack this open right now. There we go. Nice. Very nice felt lined foam. Sponge over here. And the spinner is sitting there. I love this texture. Wow, that's nice. This, everyone, is the smoke. And I got the mini version. Imagine how big the bigger version would be. Like, I think it's like one full centimeter longer. But this is nice. Look at that. All of it is all just cut out. Yes, it is a mirror polish finish, which means that it is a super fingerprint magnet, but it works really well for this design. I don't think I want to stonewash this. I don't know if I should, but right now, this is just looking really exquisite and the eagle spin is stopping. The cutouts are very, very well done. Very clean lines. No machining errors. I don't spot any at least. This is crazy. So it's a single piece design, guys. I mean, you got to think of how the designer actually did it. And then the machinist also should be a top-notch machinist to create all this. Look at that. Everything is joined together. Technically, this is one piece. You know what I mean? Oh, wait, I made the mistake of not checking the bearings again. Sorry, guys. I just got too excited. Okay, so... Ah, uh, looks like it's a press fit as well. It might be glued into place. And this is also a 25. Yay, lucky 25. Cool, so I got these two, number 25. So this is a lot more narrow versus the Eagle, clearly. And it is almost flush with a bearing. It is slightly taller than a bearing, maybe about one millimeter or two millimeters taller. And then we'll check out the buttons as well. These buttons seem to be the same kind of buttons as used on the Eagle. Yep, I was right. About the same diameter, the same amount of concave on the top. And a very nice laser etching design as well. I don't know what this design is supposed to be. Looks like a tribal pattern, but I do see like eyes. That looks like a monkey's eyes. With... Hey, you know what? I just thought about it. Like, I'm just... Okay, with my hair standing because I'm thinking of a cool thought right now. This looks like the monkey god. If you guys are into like the oriental folklore, the journey to the west. This looks like the monkey god because of the crown as well. And then the monkey god's eyes and then the cloud that the monkey god sits on. If you guys know about it, Ting Yun. Yeah, wow. Um, I guess it's kind of themed. It's pretty cool. This is, this is actually very nice. I don't know why they didn't call this cloud then. They called this a smoke, you know, but that's very interesting. Hmm. Oh, what a unique sound. Wow, this sounds kind of... Hmm. It sounds super metallic. More metallic than any other spinner that I've heard. That resonance though, it sounds like... It sounds a bit raspy. It sounds grimy. Like a sound that you would hear in dubstep. Hear that? You can totally hear the dubstep thing. 
That's so cool. It's nuts. That's like a super metallic sound. So now I'm going to try it with a one hand spin. That's not bad. The edges here are pretty pronounced. They are not sharp, but they are pronounced. They are hard lines. So they might be hot spots. This here as well, this hook right here as well. I could foresee myself doing this and snagging myself. But if I flip it around like that, then no problem. But so far it's good. It's pretty light because of all the cutouts and everything. So it's not such a hefty, heavy spinner. But there is no wobble as well. It is super smooth. Let's check out the reflections. Not as crazy as on the Eagle Spinner because the cutouts are really small, but awesome anyway. Now I'm gonna put the stubby in the middle so that I can give you guys a size comparison. Okay, of all three against each other, but I'm gonna give you some quick information about these guys because I actually have a, I guess the spec sheet actually pulled up here. So I'm gonna talk about the Big Eagle and the Mini Smoke. So the Big Eagle, which is this guy over here, hybrid ceramic R188 bearing. The weight is about 100 grams, which is good. I like that. CNC machine stainless steel, laser engraved design with a unique serialized number. It is about 65 millimeters in height, which is this way, 6.5 centimeters. And the width, which is this way, would be about four centimeters or 40 millimeters. And the thickness here is about 15 millimeters. So those of you who wanted the specs on it, you have it now. Now let's talk about the mini smoke. This is about 35 grams, which is 35 grams uh, doesn't really feel much lighter than this guy over here. It's supposed to be about one third of this. Hmm. But anyway, it is pretty light, but not to the point that it feels like it's aluminium. You know what I mean? And it also has a hybrid ceramic R188 bearing, CNC machine stainless steel, so that explains the precision, but very good tooling as well and very good machinist, I must say. Unique number. Height, this way, 60 millimeters. Width, this way, I think from here to here, I guess like that, kind of like that, I believe. 28 millimeters. And the thickness, they did not state it, but if we go by this i would say the thickness is about 12 millimeters i think yeah so really that's the specs that you guys wanted right 35 grams 100 grams now how much did i pay for these these were actually 65 each 65 usd for each whether or not you're going to get the big version or small version i believe that the prices are the same now these are the prices that i got when i jumped on the pre-order and i don't know if they have any more for sale but like i said guys i jumped on the pre-order the moment they were released when i saw them i just fell in love and i told myself i had to get them because they look amazing in my opinion they look amazing i think i'm a sucker for vietnamese designs i don't know uh as long as it's not a clone you know what i mean <laughs> like the hyperstone like these guys over here and now i'm even considering getting the bigger version of the smoke and the smaller version of the eagle just to have a full set <sighs> it's gonna be expensive though i don't know i think i'm poisoning myself so just to be honest with you guys i might not even put them on my edc for the full week maybe just a couple of days because i don't want to ruin the finish and everything i think these are just really Beautiful pieces for anyone's collections. Just can't get over how beautiful these are. 2,000 years later. I am back guys after about spending three days with these guys. Well, technically only about two days because I realized that I spent the most of my first day actually just admiring them because they really look really, really good. I realized also that the first part of the video is about 14 minutes long, which is really, really quite a lot of information in it because I was talking about two spinners instead of just one. And also most of the information about the spinners has also been shared with you guys in the first part. So I guess I'll keep this part really short I initially wanted to, I guess, kind of give them a separate review. But after editing the first part of the video, I realized that, you know, I'll just do them both at the same time. And I guess I'll title this video the Vnox Spinners or something like that. So in order to keep things as short as possible in this video, I will just jump right ahead into my final verdict on the two of them. Once again, this is the Eagle Spinner, the Big Eagle. And this is the Smoke Spinner. This is the Mini Smoke. Big Mini Okay, it's not really mini, but it's small. Anyway, smaller than the original big size smoke. Right off the bat, guys, these two are definitely not long spinners. Definitely not. I'm not so sure if it's a problem with the bearings, but I will say that you guys can clearly tell they are not designed to be long spinners. Look at the design. It is just really just for aesthetics and looks. So that's the main point if you want to get these spinners. Now, next, I'm going to bring this a little bit closer to the camera so that you guys maybe can see. I don't know. But there are a lot of little minor scuffs right now that i guess is inevitable when you're talking about mirror polish finish and that was the main thing that i wanted to avoid but i guess it is unavoidable because of the finish and it is apparent here as well on the shiny parts or the polished parts the non-lasered parts of the spinner you can see right here in this corner 
Yep, so those little scratch marks are something that kind of irk me. But you know, it's gonna be impossible to keep these guys completely pristine you know what i mean unless you polish them all the time but there's a risk to take because if you keep polishing it you might wear down these laser edgings as well so that was the main reason why i didn't want to keep these guys on my edc for too long but i guess it's inevitable anyway just having them on my edc for about three days still resulted in the same thing i got a lot of mini little scratches basically there isn't really much to say because in terms of fish stability they're not the best I prefer fidgeting with the smoke versus the eagle because of these over here. These can sometimes feel a bit uncomfortable. They've never actually bitten into my skin. They've never actually caused me any proper discomfort or any real discomfort. But it just feels weird, you know? Like, it feels like I might get hurt. Like, for example, when I perform a really strong preloaded flick and I stop it, I actually feel myself getting more discomfort from this edge rather than these. But whenever on the off chance that I land here or I kind of stop it this point, it feels like I might have hurt myself, but I actually did not. And it's not painful at all. It's just this one causes more discomfort than this. But it's not apparent on the smoke at all. Like whenever I perform a preloaded flick with this smoke spinner, I realize that I rarely get my fingers stuck here and it won't really get snagged like I was worried about. You know what I mean? So forward flicks, pullbacks, whichever grip is quite okay. It's actually quite okay because, you know, it just doesn't feel like a spinner that you really want to just hammer you know what i mean like hammer and go at it yeah it's nothing to worry about but for the smoke spinner it is more comfortable flicking it this way for some reason the curved edges just really feel extra comfortable and in this particular orientation with the hook coming up towards my index finger i think this is the most comfortable because it kind of provides a little area here for me to put my index finger there as a rest point and push it forward so this one was actually more Fistable. I guess I had a lot more fun with the smoke versus the eagle where this actually feels kind of strange because I have my finger here. This is pushing back on the top of my index finger right there. So really strange feeling. When I land here, then yeah, it's not so bad, but it feels like there's not enough real estate over here that my finger wants to slip downwards. And I hate it when this part actually snags onto the cuticle area of my finger. I really don't like that sensation. I'm not sure if you guys are okay with it, but for me personally, you know, I'm a little bit more sensitive to the cuticle area usually gets damaged or gets rubbed upwards and I hate it whenever that happens so uh yeah that's something that you have to take note as well forward flicks backward flicks on this is a little bit strange depending on how you hold it like if you hold it in this orientation and you perform backward flicks or preloaded flicks that's fine but if you perform forward flicks this feels kind of strange because see your finger doesn't really have a lot of space to rest up here so it's weird because i feel like i'm applying pressure towards my index finger instead to kind of push forward which is a little bit strange you know what i mean and the same thing goes for any kind of flicks on the middle finger and thumb grip with your fourth finger as well all right even on the other orientation this way actually feels okay but if you land up here it's gonna be a bit strange because up here means that your middle finger is actually much further away from your index finger so uh some of you actually might enjoy it but personally i don't Pulling back this way is okay. Oops, sorry. I hit the other spinner. Pulling back this way is okay, but you know, it's going to be sharp here. So if you keep doing that over time, it's probably going to cause you some discomfort. But I rarely hit this spot anyway. I generally fidget with the eagle spinner in this orientation. And it's a personal thing, you know what I mean? Yeah, so that's really my final verdict on these guys. Basically, 465 USD, I think that they are really beautiful like I will stand by what I said about them possibly being the most beautiful spinners out there in the market right now. I really think that they are wonderful looking. There's this OCD thing about me that's telling me, hey, you know, you got to find a way to get rid of all these little scratches. But at the end of the day, these are keepers because I'm going to put them in my collection because they just look really, really good. If you get these spinners, guys, it's really for the way they look. Not so much for the way they fidget, but it's really for the way they look. If you enjoy the precise machining, especially on the smoke spinner, if you enjoy the machining plus the precise laser marking on the Eagle spinner, these spinners are for you, for sure. So once again, guys, links in the video description below. And thank you so much for being a part of this slice of my life. And I hope that I provided enough information to help you decide whether or not the Eagle spinner or the smoke spinner or both of these spinners are spinners for you. All right, guys, that's about it. And uh, well, guess that's all I have to say. If I were to talk anymore, I'll be just rambling. So, have a nice one everyone and I'll catch you on the next slice of my life. Bye!